I have been getting uh, spam like crazy from people saying that, you do you want to try out these glasses because they, they stop the tracking? Keep your identity on lock. Anti-infrared tech disrupts unwanted tracking in the sun's IR rays. Your face is in a database. Infrared is everywhere. And when you say when it has built-in privacy, this is one of these types of ads that's very similar to modern VPN advertising, where I'll like uh, somebody will link me to a Ben Shapiro show, and I'll just listen to him say that with ExpressVPN, you know, take back your data from big tech and companies that hate you. And he's talking about people that are like, you, when you listen to the examples that he's giving, it's just the, somebody browsing the internet that logs into Facebook with their real first name, their real last name their real email account. They say what their political opinions are as they're yelling at their neighbors. They show who all their friends are. They upload pictures of themselves. They have the tracking cookies there, but because they don't know your IP address, you're taking back your data. Technically, it does obfuscate your IP address, and technically, that is one less piece of data that that website has on you. But when they have your first name, your last name, all your political opinions, the names of all your friends, and browser cookies that will see everywhere you go, you know what I'm getting at here. You and I both know that 99.999% of the general public who may not be that tech savvy are walking away from that ad with a massively different idea of the capabilities of that product. And he didn't lie. He, but hang up. So I have a program called Image, I-M-M-I-C-H. And I wanted to see if this program, this open source app running on a Celeron would defeat these glasses. So Image is an awesome app that I've talked about many, many times. It's like using Google Photos or iCloud, but it's open source, and it's better, in my opinion. There's a lot of cool things that you could do with this program. For instance, if I want to go through my library and I want to find something like Mr. Clinton sitting on a red chair, I can actually go to my library. I can type, search my photos, cat on red chair. I hit enter, and on a piece of shit Celeron, this is actually going to find a cat on a red chair. That is a cat on a red chair. It uses a large language models that run locally. So you're not sending your data to somebody else's server to be analyzed. You're not sending your pictures to somebody else's server to be analyzed. The picture of this beautiful little kitten sitting on a red chair was analyzed on an Intel Nook, which is a, one of the, this little $300 piece of shit computer that we got for, as a cashier machine for the store seven years ago, and it, it found it. So I, you can also do facial recognition on this, where I can choose people, I can name them, and then we'll find them all. I am Xing out everything else because I, you guys don't need to see uh, my entire personal library. I'm going to click on the me. And as you can see, you have me in a this dickhead tuxedo over here. You have me sitting at my chair. And then you have me wearing not one, but two separate sets of these Zenni optical sunglasses. It, they do absolutely nothing. Nothing. Uh, literally a, a Celeron $300 computer that was purchased to be my store's cash register in 2018 was able to, using uh, an open an open model was able to tell that that I'm me with these glasses on. They do nothing, absolutely nothing, and you, you and that's exactly what I expected. But I wanted to figure out, try it out because a lot of you have emailed in asking about it. Now maybe it stops facial recognition in edge cases when people are using infrared and everything else, and it, fine, maybe it does. But when I know that 99% of you that emailed me. When you were emailing me and you were telling me about this and asking me to try this out, you saw keep your identity on lock, ID guard, uh, you know, your face is in a database, built in privacy, and you thought that this would actually stop facial recognition. It fucking doesn't. The facial recognition being done here is being done by a fucking Celeron that used to be the the, the cash register for my store at 186 First Avenue seven years ago. It, it takes nothing. It's very, very easy to do facial recognition whether you have these glasses on or not. Do they look cool? Eh, fine. I mean, you know, it's... it's they look all right. I mean, it's, it's hard to make my face look palatable regardless of what you put on it. But uh, don't, if, if just don't fall for all this stuff. Um, you know, they, they probably, they're decent sunglasses, uh, but all this shit over here, if somebody wants to do facial recognition, they're going to fucking do facial recognition. If a Celeron from 2018 can tell who I am with these glasses on, you bet your ass this is not fooling any real system. So just a little rant there. I get it, you know, I, I, like somebody's going to say, Lewis, you should have set up this, this specific infrared camera with this specific type of facial recognition. And it's just, no. Eh. Also, you guys should know image is actually stable now. So again, check it out. It's AGPL, open source. Can't track you, can't troll you. Well, maybe control you, but can't track you. Alex would never troll you. That's for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.